I'm here today with the Mobile Pixels Tetra keyboard and I just wanted to see how much keyboard you can get, how much split keyboard you can get as opposed to like a wired keyboard which is nice as well, the Freestyle 2 from Kinesis or Kinesis. Let's, so let's just dig in and see what you get for $300. This is a premium and I mean premium split keyboard here. Let's unbox this and find out. So cool packaging, let's get the plastic off first. The box alone is amazing. Soft foam all the way around and then immediately that hard case that it's in. And then everything sits neatly inside this hard case. So you can immediately just take this with you on the go. Now I can't wait to open this up. So you have the keyboard parts here stuck together really well with magnets and there at the bottom must be the screen. So these parts all click together and let's look at the screen there. It's tucked in there really really well. Oh yeah so that folds open with a sturdy hinge and you can put it in between the others. Also clicks in magnetically. Now all the parts have USB-C here to charge so let's take a closer look. So let's put you down there and here is my cool hard case. All the parts here have magnets and I think that's part of the premium feel here that they're going for. But not only that, I really like the design. So let's set you up right here so we can see that from above just a little bit. Um, I haven't even connected this yet. but right out of the box it re looks really cool it has this retro feel to it with these retro type of letters and i just really dig this i also have it the uh, wrong way around <laughs> because you have qwerty right here um, so this is how it works but it looks really really nice it's very low it sits very low here a lot lower than like this kinesis for example i think the touch feel of this Let's put this next to it. So obviously this is wired, so you can't move this further away than nine inches, but for most that might be enough. And this has more of a tactile feel. This is more like your laptop keyboard, I think, which is cool. Uh, and I'm used to using my laptop keyboard. So this is, uh, I think, a little shorter learning curve than, than using something like this as your secondary keyboard if you type on like your laptop keyboard a lot um, but both have like that split design of course this you can put anywhere and this you have to keep it uh, at, well relatively close so that's a different right there off the bat this kinesis reminds me a little bit of those older keyboards that you used to have when i was still working at the office so it has that like an older type of feel to it I don't really like that, but I, but I do get that some might dig that. This, of course, is something totally different. Then, of course, you have your uh, screen with it. And this is where the uh, magic comes in. So you can open this up and put this in between. So you can have different setups put this in between and then connect them all with the magnetic connectors it really snaps into place do you see that <laughs> it's a very satisfying feel really cool i think this is a very well designed product here and then you also have these separate bars that you can put on the ends to really complete the setup so now you have that complete Thing here now of course you can put these together and then this one uh, over here and then uh, just type away oh. brown fox then you have these this separated spacebar design here and you can put this in between or have this like so and then type away here uh, with two separate hands it's a very low setup you can turn these on and they do work with bluetooth so you can use this with uh, like your mobile if you want i use dex a lot so a uh, desktop setup on my samsung s25 ultra uh, and this can be used with bluetooth with your phone so i think that's a nice addition of course the kinesis you won't be able to do that because it's wired uh, but you don't get the full functionality so let's dig into that how you can use this screen and that's where the cable comes in that you get with it so you can connect all of this with the 
magnetic connectors and then click this in let's remove the two parts right here and then click this in and put this into your laptop and then it immediately recognizes that so right now I have like uh, my screen copied from my computer right here so I can use this touch screen to navigate and then also my computer moves so you can just click in here and then you need to turn these on as well so the lighting is also very cool so you get like this little bit of glow so not full gamer convention or anything but just some cool lights here i think that adds to the to, to the whole aesthetic of the thing and now let's set that up because you can just go into your computer and set this up as a secondary screen as you can see i have two screens now this is the uh, second one and here i have my all my stuff and then i can just move over uh, something to the second screen like my files here and then i have my files all the way over here so i just have my second screen now i can use that for different types of apps i can have something set up here so i can always see like my calendar for example or my trello board where i work with my freelancer so i can always see what my tasks are and then do my work on my laptop right over there so i think that's very very powerful here but it should also be able to show some uh, hotkeys or uh, macros if you will so let's try to set that up i think we need to install like an app for that okay so there's a tetra board app for windows that i need to download so I like installing a driver here for the keyboard and right now i'm in the downloads and I'm on this touch screen i'm immediately using my file explorer here so let's install that okay so now i have the app open a little tutorial you can add an action button configure your action button change the title icon so you can use every type of uh, icons on there so you can easily use that so it's pretty cool let's use boards and make new ones you can um, add your boards to a selection that's pretty cool to activate the action board okay right now i have a, a couple of productivity tips in there which i can change and let's add that to the action board and start using it am i using this now oh, light and dark mode and then put this on here i think okay so now i have my action board here and i think these should work when i push them so actually i have like a separate screen here that i just drag things into just like a normal extra screen on your laptop but this is just a little bit smaller and then with those macros set up with the tetra app so i think that's pretty cool as well so i can just slide these over just a little bit and tilt this then i have my uh, macros here so let's see if that works um i don't think i have word installed but let's open the calculator yeah so that opens the calculator right on my computer and then let's try something like something like skype i don't think i've installed that zoom yeah so then zoom opens up these of course are pre-installed ones but you can put anything on here just by using this uh, little app here so right now i have it in productivity mode now the cool thing here as well is you can put this up in any slanted way that you like all the way to up to here and uh, just a little bit down as well i think that's better for the camera up top to see then you have your menu here for the screen so you can push that so you can make it a little brighter add some contrast to there also saturation the temperature RGB, so set that to cool. Uh, the signal, so type C or type A. Right now I have that in type A, eye care mode on. Oh, so you uh, remove the blue light from that completely with eye care mode. I think that's a nice addition as well. Underglow. Oh, so that turns on the glow light here underneath. It might draw a little bit more power from your laptop, but if that's okay with you, it looks pretty cool. And then we have these, of course, and these are actually connected by Bluetooth to your 
a laptop so they can be connected separately and then this one via the cable to use so you can use this without the screen if you don't need it and then add that with a usb cable to your laptop if you do need it and then add that as a second screen for like your files i think that's a cool solution here for like your trello board or your calendar so you can always see that but also for these macros that you can put in there and you can just drag that from your laptop screen to this screen and be able to use that i have different start boards that they put in so this is productivity you can have web with a lot of macros so you can put a lot of stuff in here and then media for different things then zoom and you can customize every one of these to fit in your own work flow so that is pretty nice so this is what you get and everything feels very very premium i do see that some might prefer this especially if you you're used to this like a, a one of those heavy thick extra keyboards that you have at work for for your desktop then something like this might work for you but you do miss all of these productivity features that the mobile pixels tetra might give you so i hope this video has helped you in what are the possibilities in split keyboards and i really like i really dig this i'm going to use this a lot more and then perhaps make a video for you again with my final results so thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one